Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and on this video, we are going to talk about what are menstrual cramps. Dysmenorrhea is a medical term for pain with period or menstruation or menstrual cramps. There are two types of dysmenorrhea. We have the primary and the secondary. Primary dysmenorrhea is the name for common menstrual cramps that come back over and over again or it is recurrent and it is not due to other diseases. The pain usually begins one or two days before you get your period or when bleeding actually starts. Minsan, makakaranas ka ng pain ranging from mild to severe in the lower abdomen, your back, and your thighs. The pain can typically last from 12 to 72 hours. And you might have other symptoms like nausea and vomiting, fatigue, and even diarrhea. Common menstrual cramps may become less painful as you get older and may stop entirely if you already have a baby. However, if you have painful periods because of a disorder or an infection, this is heavier and mas nakakatakot ito. In the reproductive system, it is called secondary dysmenorrhea. The pain from secondary dysmenorrhea usually begins earlier in the menstrual cycle and lasts longer than common menstrual cramp. Here in the secondary dysmenorrhea, you don't usually have nausea and vomiting, fatigue, or diarrhea. Remember, these symptoms are seen typically in primary dysmenorrhea. The causes of this menorrhea. Menstrual cramps happen when a chemical called prostaglandin makes the uterus contracts or tighten up. The uterus, the muscular organ where the baby grows, contracts throughout your menstrual cycle. During menstruation, the uterus contracts more strongly. If the uterus contracts too strongly, it can press against nearby vessels, cutting off the supply of oxygen to muscle tissues. Then, thereby, you can feel the severe pain. On the other hand, these are the causes of secondary dysmenorrhea that increase the menstrual cramps. Number one is endometriosis. It is a condition in which the tissue lining, the uterus, or the endometrium is found outside the uterus. Number two, adenomyosis, wherein this is a condition where the lining of the uterus grows into the muscle of the uterus. This condition can be caused the uterus to get much bigger than it should be. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating uterus ay lumalaki ng lumalaki, along with abdominal bleeding and pain. The third one is the pelvic inflammatory disease wherein this is an infection caused by bacteria at nagsisimula ito sa uterus and can spread to other reproductive organs. Note that PID can cause pain in the stomach or pain during sex. The next one is cervical stenosis wherein ang ating cervix ay nagnanaro or the opening of the uterus is getting narrowed which we call cervix. The last one is fibroids or benign tumors wherein there is a growth of something or cyst inside or outside in the walls of your uterus. What are the signs and symptoms of menstrual cramp? Aching pain in the abdomen, sobrang sakit neto at nararanasan every now and then or several times. Feeling of pressure in the abdomen, pain in the hips, lower back, and inner thigh. Hirap maging babae, no? How can you tell if the pain of your menstrual cramps is normal? This is the thing. If you have severe or unusual menstrual cramps that last for more than 2 to 3 days, you need to contact your healthcare provider or visit your OBGYN. Let's remember that both primary and secondary menstrual cramps can be treated. So it is important to get checked and visit your doctor. 
How are we going to manage and treat these menstrual cramps? Para ma-relieve ang ating menstrual cramps, you can take ibuprofen as soon as the bleeding or cramping starts. Ibuprofen belongs to a class of drugs called NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Remember that ibuprofen can decrease the prostaglandins na nagkukos ng pain sa iyong abdomen. Number two, you can place a heating pad or hot water bottle on your lower back or in your abdomen. Next, rest when needed. Avoid foods that contain caffeine. Mm, sa mga mahilig magkape. Avoid smoking and drinking alcohol. And the last one is, massage your lower back and abdomen. Para sa mga babaeng mahilig mag-exercise, mas less ang pagkakaroon nila ng menstrual pain. So, to prevent menstrual cramps, Make sure that you do exercise as part of your weekly routine. Kapag naman hindi na agapan ang pain, kung nagawa mo na lahat ng mga steps na to, it is better that you are going to contact your healthcare provider or your doctor because they can order or they can prescribe medications for you, including ibuprofen or another anti-inflammatory medications with a higher dose that is available over the counter. Note that some of the healthcare providers might also suggest oral contraceptives since women who take oral contraceptives tend to have less menstrual pain. So kung tutignan mo, nag-order din talaga sila para mabalance ang hormone ng isang babae. Kapag naman, yung test na ginawa ay nag-a-agree na ikaw ay meron kang secondary dysmenorrhea or there are conditions that leads to this dysmenorrhea, they are going to suggest some treatments of your condition. This might be oral contraceptives or other kinds of medications or surgeries or other treatments. Another management for menstrual cramping are yoga, massage, acupuncture, and acupressure. So may tanong, can you prevent menstrual cramps? The answer is no. However, Eating a balanced diet and getting regular exercise may help you stop cramps from being as intense as it is. Another question, kailan ka kailangan kumontak sa yung healthcare provider about your dysmenorrhea? So remember, bad cramps keep some women from working and going to school. If you are already suffering from menstrual cramps and it takes already times and it is recurrent and you did already your best to treat it, it would be better that you are going to visit your healthcare provider if the painful periods can no longer manageable. It is better that you need to keep on track of your periods and the days on which the pain is worst. So maige, magpakonsulta sa ating mga manggagamot. It track ang ating menstrual cycles, lalong lalo na sa time or sa day na super sakit siya. And kapag meron ka pang nakitang or naramdamang ibang mga symptoms like headache or heavy flows, you should keep track on those and report it to your physician. Yung doctor mo ay siguradong magtatanong sa lahat ng mga nangyari during your menstruation and they will always ask for your last menstrual period. How long your period takes or last or if you are sexually active. Always remember that menstruation is normal. You might get cramps but you don't have to suffer silently with them. There are ways to make painful periods less painful. Make sure to talk to your healthcare provider about painful periods. So para sa mga lalaking nagsasabi na laging tinotoyo ang kanilang mga jowa kapag ang red tides ay nagvivisit, this is already the answer. Your girlfriend or your partner might be suffering from a real dysmenorrhea problem. So, kailangan mong tulungan ang iyong partner. So, what are you waiting for? Maybe you need to buy some medications for your girlfriend and the other comfort foods that will help her in the process.
Sana naman nakatulong ang video na to. And if nakatulong ang video na to sa'yo, bigyan mo naman ako ng isang like dyan. And comment down below kung ano pa yung mga gusto mong ipadiscuss sa akin. Baka matulungan kita, girl. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you guys sa pagtambay. And guys, if you want to join our group on Facebook, we are actually sharing free nursing reviewers here. Check this one on Facebook. So I guess that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is your favorite in die, your nurse in charge. See you again in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.